everything I got to prove. I'm going all in on you. I'm going all in on you. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Rose, and I make videos about all aspects of student life. In today's video, I am going to show you my routine for preparing a new semester. Without further ado, let's get started. So I like to start with gathering all the study material that I will need during the semester. This includes books, instructions, outlines, working group materials, articles, school supplies and more things that I will need during the semester. I like to write down all the things that I'll need, so I have an overview of all the material. I think this is really useful because it usually takes a couple of days before I have gathered all the material and having a list will make sure that I don't forget anything. I'll go to the stores and then I go online to find all the student material and if I can I buy my book second hand because it saves money and it's good for the environment but this is not always possible because sometimes you have to buy the newest edition of a book. By the way, I have created a little checklist for you guys for when you're preparing a new semester. It's free to download, you can find the link in my description box. And you can use this list to tick off all the things you need to get done to be fully prepared for a new semester, including all the steps that I go over in this video. Make sure to order your books well in time so they will arrive at least a couple of days before the semester starts so you can be well prepared during your first lectures. So a couple of days after ordering, all my books arrived and it was time to unpack them. And I think this is my favorite part of preparing myself for a new semester. Because it's so much fun to unpack my new books and to take a first look at them. And as you can see, the books that I unpacked here are huge, which is immediately a warning signal for me that I will have to work really hard this semester to keep up. The second thing I do is create an outline. This is basically a table that I create on my laptop that shows me all the study material that I need to go over each week during the semester. It allows me to track my process, so I know exactly when I'm getting behind on schedule and what I need to do to catch up. Then it's time for organizing all my study material. I use document folders for all my study material and I put my notes, assignments, the outline that I've made before and all my summaries in here so that at the end of the semester everything can be found in one place. Then it's time to figure out a study schedule and this is very very important because this will make or break your semester. I start by writing down all the classes that I'm taking during the semester and this includes all lectures, working groups and extra classes that I follow. This gives me an overview of the amount of time I have each day and when it will be the most convenient for me to study or to work on deadlines. It's also very important to prepare your classes. I usually prepare my classes by simply doing the mandatory readings for the week and I also go over the PowerPoint if there is one available. Because it's the first week, you usually don't have to put in an extraordinary amount of preparation for the classes because the first week is usually relatively easy. When I'm reading, I also like to annotate my book at the same time because this will make it easier for me later on when I have to summarize my book. Then I take a look at all the assignments that I need to prepare during the semester and I try to finish at least the assignments of the first week so my first week will be stress-free. A really useful tip is to look at past exams. My university usually provides the students with past exams and this is a major help to prepare yourself for the exams because you'll have a clear idea of what kind of questions will be asked on the exam so you can prepare yourself properly. 
If your school doesn't provide you with past exams, maybe you can search for them online or ask people that have had this exam already because trust me, this will be really, really helpful when you're preparing yourself during the semester. And lastly, don't forget to relax. Take a couple of days off to be kind to yourself and to practice some self-care because you need to be well rested when a new semester starts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give the thumbs up, subscribe and comment if you liked it. Bye!